Statements in a high-profile trial started today in Multnomah County Court. It comes nearly three years after members of the right-wing group Patriot Prayer were charged with rioting stemming from a Portland protest. Fox 12's Kendra Kent was there in court today and joins us now live to get us up to speed. Kendra. Good evening, Pete. This case does center around Joey Gibson. This is somebody that you've probably heard about. He is the founder of Patriot Prayer, this right-wing political group. Now, today in Gibson and two of his fellow group members were there before the jury and the judge as those opening statements were heard. Now, Gibson, along with Russell Schultz and Mackenzie Lewis, are facing felony riot charges from that 2019 May Day protest when a fight broke out after the demonstrations between Patriot Prayer members and members of the left-wing Antifa group. Prosecutors say it was after the protest when Antifa members went to a bar in Northeast Portland and then members of Patriot Prayer confronted them there, spurring a street fight between the two groups. Fox 12 does have video from that day, clearly showing fighting between two large groups of people. Multnomah County prosecutors say they built their case against Gibson and the others based on the video evidence from that day. But defense attorneys also cited the video as evidence that Gibson was instead trying to keep the peace during the confrontation and was being provoked and attacked himself. You know, despite being spat upon, kicked, slapped, slashed out with a knife, Mr. Gibson did not respond with any violent act. He did not pepper spray anyone. He did not punch anyone. He did not kick anyone. And what you'll see when you listen to everything is that Mr. Gibson repeatedly told people, don't throw things. Put your weapon away. Now this afternoon, prosecutors started calling witnesses to the stand, including one woman who told jurors she met up with fellow protesters at that bar and was there when Gibson and another Patriot Prayer member started harassing them. Heather Clark says she asked Gibson to leave as the brawl started to heat up, and she says that she was attacked. Prosecutors played video showing her crumpling down on the street that day. I felt something hit the back of my neck, um, and it immediately stunned me. And when I say stunned, it's like um, lost complete control of my body, felt like this electric shock go through my body. Um, I became unconscious, um, maybe for a couple seconds, and I honestly thought I had died. Now, that witness there also noted today that the fighting was, quote, consensual on both sides. Aside from Gibson and his two co-defendants, three other Patriot Prayer members did plead guilty to 2019 rioting charges as well. Now, this trial is expected to wrap up on Thursday. If jurors do find Gibson and those other men guilty, they could spend as much as five years behind bars. We'll keep you posted as we continue to follow this case. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.